your signs. Aries. <laughs> Happy birthday, gang, with our fine ass. Hey, boo. Hey. Lily, 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 And Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Hey, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Oh, what's up, Saggy baby? Did you miss me? First time y'all miss me? <laughs> Listen, because I missed your mother ass listen honey this will be a quick energy check-in a weekly read or i'll say a weekly uh a weekly energetic check-in okay just a random damn read y'all literally was on my mind y'all was calling me so here i am okay after fire signs i will do air signs water signs then earth signs in that damn order um and for those of you who are asking well mocha why are you doing it in that order i love on who love on me period okay i love old who love on me y'all know how many times i didn't thought about making this motherfucking channel a motherfucking fire sign and the air sign channel and that's it okay i'll be trying not to exclude other energies but baby listen the free talk about the frequencies and the shift in frequencies has been real okay fire signs i have i got really big energy from you all overall as a whole okay y'all this message for aries leo sagittarius okay take what does take what does resonate leave the rest if that motherfucking shoot on fit yes yeah, trying to put on a damn shoe that's too big for you you're gonna fall that's on period okay so leave that motherfucking shoe for stick it where that shoe honey okay if you need a personal reading please for please feel free um to follow me on instagram if you're not at mocha underscore love underscore tarot okay i'm getting ready to pick up readings back over there as well i had took me a little breaky break to work on other things okay but i'm back now and we finna run it okay Listen, I'm going to do the fire signs collectively as a whole first. Then I'm going to jump into individual signs. Can somebody please be a darling for me? Please, okay? And please timestamp this reading, okay? I, I will go in the order of Aries, Leo, and then Sag, okay? So let's jump into it, all right? Listen, fire signs as a whole, I got really big energy, okay? I got this this anticipated type of energy, okay? So some of you all, some of y'all people, you could have, okay, so so some of y'all, some of y'all could actually have like a platform or you looking to start some type of platform or present something publicly, okay? This could definitely be a business venture, okay? This could be on the lines of on the on the lines of entrepreneurship. This could also have to do with your with your um with the displaying of your gifts as well, okay? But I am picking up on mastery. A lot of you all are in this place of mastery some of you all are going back to school at this time okay some of you all could have also recently um i'm hearing something about the fall some of y'all could also be like uh, making preparations to go back to school or maybe applying for scholarships or grants to be able to return to school in the fall okay and i keep hearing return to school so some of y'all are picking something back up okay for some of you all it's some type of like artistic craft whether it's paint rather uh, whether it's painting whether it's music something having to do with expression okay or again the displaying or the mastery of your gifts Okay, some of you all also I am picking up on this energy of like some of y'all could be grieving or mourning at this time. And for those of you who've recently lost somebody, baby, my condolences go out to you because I kept picking up on something having to do with the strong matriarchal figure. So this could have to do with the mother and aunt, okay, a grandmother. But I did pick up on something having to do with a loss. And for those of you who have recently lost somebody, baby, my condolences go out to you and your family. I'm sending you all so much love, healing, and restoration at this time. And know that healing has no damn expiration date. Take your time and process what it is that you need to process. For some of you all, there is some type of deception tied into this loss okay so for some of you all this could have actually had to do with some type of like um y'all know i hate picking up on it but when i channel it i'm gonna say it some y'all if something was if something was done where something looks like an accident or it was staged to look like an accident or some type of malpractice but somebody was behind the scenes bitch doing a little motherfucking uh, a little motherfucking whipping and whipping and whipping you get what i'm saying i definitely picked up on this energy where um an earth sign capricorn towards virgo could be significant to that as well as a water Water sign a uh, cancer pisces scorpio okay i'm also picking up on i kept hearing the song no smoke no smoke mm -mm, they don't want it okay so for some of you all somebody thought that they wanted the motherfucking smoke fire somebody thought it they thought they wanted the motherfucking smoke fire signs they thought long and wrong okay this week somebody some y'all somebody's gonna get a front row uh, a front row seat and a front row understanding okay to just how protected they are or for some of y'all this if this 
is happening to you, okay? Somebody's gonna find out just how protected you are. You could have warned this person or gave them the motherfucking warning and let them know, bitch, listen, you beefing by your motherfucking self, but if you come over here with that bullshit, you gonna get your ass motherfucking hammer because my ancestors goons. I keep hearing ancestral goons. Some of y'all is realizing you got some ancestral goons, okay? Um, I also picked up on this energy where <clears throat> some of y'all could be, uh, could have recently walked away from a job or you were in the process of maybe putting in your two weeks resignation in or putting in your two weeks notice, okay? But I definitely picked up on this energy of like really moving towards the new and really hell bent about moving forward, okay? Some of y'all, this is literal movement, all right? For those of you who've been stressing the hell out about moving by April the 1st, if you have to be out of your place by April the 1st, I literally see something being prorated or you guys having to pay like a prorated rent. So I'm, some of y'all could actually be moving in in the middle of the month, okay? So please stop stressing your motherfucking self one step at a time. I'm also hearing delegate your task because for some of you all, you pray for help, you pray for assistance, and now it's showing up. Some of y'all acting as if you're being real motherfucking stubborn now that the goddamn help is here in the damn forefront, okay? Some of you all also could be working on shifting your shifting your perception on how you see life, how you see circumstances. I'm also hearing publishing, so some of y'all could be working on some type of book. I'm also hearing something having to do with the tell-all book. Fire signs, somebody's afraid, if you're writing a book, somebody's afraid that you're going to put they, like, you're going to put what the fuck happened between y'all and your motherfucking book. I am hearing, I'm hearing, okay, transmuting your pain, okay, transmuting your pain into power. I'm also hearing your test is also your testimony, okay? So even though a motherfucker don't want to admit to their motherfucking part that they played in the goddamn story as the motherfucking villain does not mean that it takes away from your truth, okay? So for some of y'all, this have to do with you going in the realm of um, spirituality. If this have to do with you going in the realm of um, public speaking or communications of any kind, advocacy, okay? I'm also hearing something having to do with revolutionary. Some of y'all could be putting in, a, putting in <clears throat> a lot of work within the community or maybe you're looking for ways of how to go about like donating your time, your energy, your money, etc., Okay, some y'all could be looking for some type of like charitable cause that's very meaningful to you. Okay, or maybe you're starting some type of nonprofit organization as well. But I definitely picked up on giving back this energy of giving back a lot of energy around a lot of focus and emphasis on the art of receiving. Some of y'all are over givers, and in this season, you're having to learn how to receive. And know this it's not no damn punishment because you having to learn how to damn receive. Because some of y'all, spirit is putting you in a situation where you're having to ask for something. Something, or you're having to reach out for assistance and know that that assistance is there, but this is pushing you beyond your damn limits because for some of you all, you stuck in your ways. And I keep hearing Leo and Sagittarius could be significant to that. I'm also hearing with Aries, gang, gang, a lot of y'all need to work on like really not allowing the minor shit to like really fuck with you. If it's not affecting your finances, your family, your faith, your bag, your motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Your overall well-being, fuck it. Fuck them. How does that help you grow? You get what I'm saying? Again, changing your perception on how you're looking at things, okay? So let's get into it. We're going to jump into Aries first because this reading can't be that long because I got to go in there and cook dinner, okay? Aries, Aries, Aries. I keep getting this energy. I keep getting a lot of emphasis around fasting, detoxing, purification, okay? So Aries, some of you guys could be fasting for some type of substance. Some of y'all could be fasting from drinking alcohol. I'm also hearing unplugging from social media. So some of y'all could be either uh, blocking people at this time, okay, or disactivating or disabling social media accounts. I keep hearing something having to do with Twitter and Facebook. I keep hearing, uh, I'm okay, so I'm hearing Summer Walker's, Summer Walker's song, um, Toxic, ooh, baby, yeah, toxic. Okay, so some of y'all are also recognizing, like, the toxicity within some type of relationship dynamic, whether it's friend, family, lover, foe, situationship, your hoes, whoever. Okay, but some of you guys are neutralizing something or you're you're neutralizing something by simply choosing to walk away from it or simply choosing to like uh, like lay it to rest. Some of y'all are laying a situation or laying something to rest for some of y'all that have to do with the job that your ass can't stand. You, you're going to focus on your business in which you're building. Some of y'all are also going to focus on, again, mastering your craft. OK, some of y'all Aries could work as energy healers, spiritual uh, spiritual life coaches or teachers. I keep hearing licensing certification could be of significance. Okay, some of y'all could be who I'm picking up on going back to school, okay, or returning. Some of y'all could also be taking up some type of course or class or kind of on the fence about should you pay for some type of um 
some type of course or instruction uh, towards doing something. For some of y'all, I keep hearing wig installation. So for those of you who work in the realm of like beauty and fashion, this would be a great week, a great, great week, a great week, okay, to work on mastering your craft, okay, invest in you. Some of y'all also are, I keep hearing running out of money or looking for, okay, so some of y'all, some of y'all, you're being cautioned not to spend too much motherfucking money. Some of you guys could be waiting on taxes or waiting on the return of something. I am picking up on midweek. By the midweek, some of y'all are going to be receiving something, and some of y'all are not going to receive something until Tuesday of next week, okay? Some of y'all also could be going, I keep hearing something about grocery shopping, okay? Some of y'all could be, like, stocking up on supplies, scarcity scarcity okay shortages some y'all also could be uh okay some y'all could also be teaching or like creating some type of vlog regarding like political propaganda or uh tapping into like uh, or getting um getting well versed as it pertains to the law okay some of you guys if you were dealing with any like custody issues where there was like a lack of someone being uh willing to fucking compromise with you i definitely pick up on again whoever that is who was like really kind of like being a bully as it pertains to some type of custody issue they finna learn how just how protected you are okay some of you are also i am picking up on something having to do with borrowing money aries a lot of people got their fucking hand out to you energetically i don't know if you have your own platform i don't know if you are um like in the public eye of sorts i can't Keep hearing something having to do with the industry modeling industry some of y'all are doubting your ability to execute something successfully especially if it's in the realm of your gifts baby god got you you guys are really aligning with your purpose if you are a singer if you are a writer if you work in the field of expression or communications of any sort baby it's time for you to get your ass back to work okay because i'm picking up on a lot of procrastination energy around aries and you're not procrastinating because you don't know what to do for some of y'all you don't know about how to, like which direction to go about starting something or executing something and again i keep hearing divine intervention like spirit is sending you assistance spirit is sending you help you just have to be receptive and be discerning of when that damn help shows the fuck up but i feel like something is like being laid at laid at your feet aries i keep hearing well done so some of you guys could be closing out a cycle okay some of you all also could be getting okay so i keep hearing burial burial someone some of y'all could be getting ambushed by family to like pay for something like I keep getting this pocket watching ass energy. Uh, Aries, somebody's pocket watching your ass, okay? Be very cautious about how you move as it pertains to finances. I'm also picking up on this energy where someone could be trying to gain access to some type of banking account or banking information. I keep hearing roommate could be significant, okay? So this could be a spouse or a roommate, okay? Someone wants to check and see if you lying or not about not having no damn money or not having what you what they're asking you for. And even if your ass do got it, that's none of their motherfucking business. Aries, we definitely make sure that you're protecting your accounts, protecting your accounts, protecting your assets. I'm also hearing protecting your content, okay? Your intellectual property, LLCs, okay? Copywriting. Branding could be of significance for you, Aries, all right? Let's get it. And happy birthday, gang, gang. I love y'all. I pray that y'all are enjoying this beautiful ass Aries season because we, baby, we bought the motherfucking sun out. Bitch, we, bitch, we bought the sun out. We, we bought it out. Okay? Smile, honey. It's so much that you have to be grateful for. Gratitude is the attitude in order to attract. But Aries, you guys are definitely in this energy of attraction, okay? Some of you are also, you're looking very attractive at this time. Some of y'all could be doing something with your hair. Some of y'all could have recently dyed your hair. I'm also picking up on someone chose to actually lock their hair. Boy, I'm a girl, I'm a lock. Listen, since I'm a lock mine real soon. Okay, but some of you all could have recently locked your hair. It looks very beautiful. I'm also hearing something about dye tips. Somebody could have recently dyed their hair uh, either blue. I see blue. I see green. I see a fuchsia pink going into like a violet purple. That shit is bomb, bitch. I'm also hearing, okay, wig installations again. Some of y'all could also be working on some type of like glueless wig technique. Glueless. I heard glueless wigs. I'm also hearing holistic practitioner. Some of y'all could be learning about herbs. Again, a lot of focus around mastering your gifts, mastering your craft, okay? I'm also hearing a lot of um, a lot of focus around downloads and subconscious rev revelations. Your dreams at this time are very telling, Aries. Something's actually going to be, you're waiting for something to be confirmed in the physical because it's already been confirmed multiple times in the spiritual. And I am hearing some of y'all have been obsessively waiting for some shit to get exposed or waiting for some shit to hit the fan the end of may is going to be significant for some of y'all who that resonates with okay so spirit give me a message for my aries 
a message for my Aries at this time. An angel message. Aries. Okay, y'all just jumping out the damn day. Listen, love life. Okay? So this is going to be a week where your love life is being highlighted for you guys. Aries, some of y'all could have recently started dating someone. Some of y'all are on the fence about letting someone back into your motherfucking realm as you fucking should because whoever this individual is, I keep hearing trickster spirit, monitoring spirit. Aries, also some of y'all have either a neighbor or somebody who watches your home or who's taking pictures of who's coming. Somebody's taking pictures of who's coming to your house or who's coming to your home okay new or renewed romantic love is here for you okay so i definitely pick up on this energy where if you were ish if you were in a long-term commitment or relationship and you were experiencing issues as it pertains to like communication or you guys getting on the same page i keep hearing financially through you fucking choosing to like speak your motherfucking piece and instead of ranting about it you just fucking took a different approach it's it's causing someone to kind of feel as if they having to walk on eggshells and get their shit together because this person really loves you aries they don't want to lose your ass okay some of y'all also are welcoming in new love i'm also hearing something about meeting some of y'all are also going to meet someone possibly a um i keep hearing earth sign capricorn taurus virgo gemini libra aquarius could also be significant okay some of y'all also is uh, getting to uh, getting to some type of or coming to some type of resolve around a co-parenting situation, possibly with a water sign or an air sign. OK, I'm also hearing legal representative. So some of y'all could be looking for a legal representative to prove your innocence as it pertains to some type of like fraudulent activity or something that was staged at work. I keep hearing harassment. Some of y'all could be getting harassed by a boss or an authority figure at work. I keep hearing micromanagement. This person wants you to lose your shit, Aries. No, be cool. Someone needs you and someone needs you to react in order to like execute their motherfucking diabolical ass fucking plan or execute whatever the fuck they're trying to do. So be cool. Aries, be cool. Okay. You guys also got Moldavite, unconventionality. Your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. It's okay to feel different from others. Okay. So for some of you all, Aries, I am picking up on this comparison energy. Some of y'all could have either an earth sign. You could be comparing yourself to an earth sign or an earth sign is comparing themselves to you i'm also hearing something having to do with like getting to the bottom of like competition within your friend because i keep hearing competitive okay silent competition or hidden enemies okay uh, a lot of eighth house energy some y'all could be dealing with the scorpio or sagittarius okay leo some y'all could also be dealing with a cancer pisces scorpio Someone's comparing themselves to you, and this person has to like really understand. Bitch, you can't compete where you don't compare. You get what I'm saying? That's like adding look apples and oranges. A lot of focus around business, influx, flow, okay? Production, creativity, Aries. Um, also, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. Some of you all are trying to find a creative way to present something. I keep hearing media, photography could be of significance as well. Some of y'all could be um some of y'all could actually, I, I keep hearing also short films. Some, some of y'all could be working on a short film or some type of EP as well, a, a music project, okay? I'm also hearing, again, holistic practitioner. Some of y'all could get, be, be getting very heavily into like um, connecting with various tribal practices, okay? Or tribal ways of healing or holistic. Okay, so y'all, some of y'all are using herbs for holistic. You, you want to master using herbs for holistic um, holistic practices, medicinal practices as well as divination use or maybe you're creating some type of like metaphysical um maybe you have some type of metaphysical business or you create like spiritual jewelry okay some y'all are having to pick up something or again stop procrastinating the production of something some y'all may feel like as if you don't have enough money to get something off the ground but god got you and there's also divine detours you just need to fucking it's kind of like if spirit tells you okay well build the church and the people will come you get what i'm saying build the church and i will send the people you already had clear fucking instructions on how to move it wasn't your damn part okay to know how this twist and this damn turn was gonna fucking work out okay for my aries man i am picking up on someone being humble financially for being a fucking manipulator or being emotionally manipulative to use people out of their resources okay your ass gonna fall doing that bullshit okay to each his own i'm just the messenger don't come for me okay so give me three tarot cards for aries just to see <clears throat> what's going on love life i keep hearing love life some of y'all Aries are, are, are really like accepting the fact that you're going like some of y'all are accepting. Um, you're open to being it's like you don't mind dating or inviting new love in, but you're really kind of getting very settled within um, 
getting things done within your single life flow. You get what I'm saying? It's something having to do with like, some of y'all feel as if you have to choose between either money or love and the spirit is like, why when you can have both? Okay, you can have both. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. Order, structure, okay? Creating some type of regime, plan, scheduling could be of significance. Some of y'all also need to finish up some type of website. Some of y'all also could be um, website designers or software specialists, okay? Some of y'all also need to set up some type of two-way author, uh, two uh, two authorization for something or logging into something. I keep hearing if you have your own business and you, you operate off of um, IG or TikTok, you need to change your password, okay? That's for somebody. Page of Pentacles, reliability. Some of y'all, some of y'all, if, if you were thinking about like partnering up possibly with an earth sign or collaborating with an earth sign or a water sign, someone don't know how to motherfucking manage their motherfucking money. Or maybe this is how somebody's looking at you, Aries, as it pertains to managing your money or being consistent or reliable with getting something done, okay? Some of y'all is taking the damn taking the damn horns by the damn rings and doing something your fucking self and you're going to actually able to see um, not only um, influx but also your productivity increase or the demand for your product. There's a high demand for whatever it is that you offer Aries or that you're gifted in, okay? You guys got the wheel. Didn't I fucking tell y'all wrapping it the fuck up? Well done, okay? So there's definitely some changes as it pertains to I keep hearing work, okay? How you make your money. I'm also hearing passive or residual income. Some of y'all could be investing in property, land, assets okay are you inheriting this some of y'all have some type of unexpected money coming through someone's like sudden passing but whatever this is it was like because i don't like predicting death but some of y'all don't know that someone left you in, in, in their will you getting ready to find out okay i keep hearing something having to do with an account manager or um this could even be okay so aries i keep hearing something about in, uh, investigating someone's death I'm hearing Leo as well, investigating someone that some of y'all could be um, using spiritual um, using spiritual resources to investigate someone's death. Somebody also needs to cleanse their pendulum because it's not giving you accurate ass motherfucking answers, whoever that's for. All right. You also got you guys got four of pentacles. Greed. Didn't I tell y'all Aries men? OK, strong men vibes. And I'm not just saying this because I'm an Aries woman. I literally saw Aries man. Some of y'all are holding on to someone for financial reasons or keeping their ass in your motherfucking back pocket. You're not giving this person closure. This could definitely be in a, a Capricorn. I keep Okay, so I was going to say Capricorn towards Virgo, but this could definitely be a Capricorn or someone's doing this to you. Somebody could be trying to use money as a way to like be controlling or like stay in um or, or someone could be using money to manipulate someone um, as far as like their authority or making someone feel as if they don't have enough so they motherfucking opinion don't motherfucking matter and some of y'all gonna have to nip that shit in the bud I see a lot of y'all yeah a lot of y'all nipping things in the bud if you was experiencing any type of like financial issues I do see that increasing this week going from the four to the seven just keep going okay don't get discouraged because something is not growing the way that you want it to grow right now I definitely pick up on Taurus season as above so below you've already manifested or mastered something in the spiritual and it's being it's being, um, and it, okay, so it's coming to fruition in the physical, but it's coming in slowly. And also, other people play a, ma a massive part as far as those puzzle pieces coming together, okay? Yes, but this week is bringing in justice, honey. If you are experiencing anything within the justice system, know that it's going to be going in your favor. For some of you all, you tired of a motherfucking Libra trying to manipulate you because you got a baby for this person, you putting your motherfucking foot down, and it's pissing some people off. But it's liberating you from your own damn bitterness and resentment by being in a relationship and feeling single, okay? Some of y'all also, um, I, I keep hearing something about checking a child support card. Aries, some of y'all got some unexpected money coming in uh, by way this could be like spousal support child support this could do uh, with some type of like backdated funds or something that was old to you but some of y'all have been like fighting for something fighting 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 and as soon as you fucking put it down and gave it a damn break and stop obsessing or worrying about it or focusing on it so damn much it just comes to you so I definitely pick up on for some of y'all the end of this week the middle of this week and Tuesday to Thursday of next week is gonna be significant y'all need to check a car but again at the bottom of the deck you guys got mastership okay mastery mastering a craft mastering a gift i'm also hearing something about mastering the elements okay <clears throat> so some of y'all could be finding various ways of um various ways of like working with um okay no i heard the mastery of the elements so some of y'all could be working on mastering the element of air and water 
Again, a lot of focus around your manifestations and them coming in very rapidly. So be very careful where the hell the mind dwells, okay? This week, Aries. Okay, so that's what I have for you all. We're going to get you guys uh, some advice. And we're going to get up out of here, yes? For somebody who asks, okay, Moko, are you still doing? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Are you still doing the generals for everybody? Are we still here? Aries need the video by themselves. Okay, you're going to get it. Wait a minute. Yes, just give me a second. <laughs> give me some advice for Aries. Aries, Aries. Okay, so you guys got grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay, so again, again, my, uh, for those of you who just recently lost someone or who is in this grieving state, okay, know that this too shall pass. And again, Mocha loves you long time, baby. And I'm sending you so much love, healing, and restoration to you and your family. May you guys all, may God, all, may God keep you all and hold you all very close to God's bosom, honey. Okay. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, you guys got growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Again, mastery, okay? Going back to school, taking up a course, okay? Getting some type of licensing or certification or seeing what it is that you're going to need in order to be, to, to successfully execute something or like get on the path in which you desire, okay? So that's blessed here, baby. Growth, okay? This week is bringing in growth and karmic justice, okay? Leo, what's up, boo? Did you miss me? Hmm. Hmm. Leo. So Leo, off the off the rip. I heard. Okay, I heard you wanna argue. I can't argue with you, Leo. Someone is not used to you being nonchalant. You switched up the way that you emotion. That you switched up the way of the emotional. Um. Okay, you you switch up the way that you emotionally invest in someone. Again, a lot of focus around um, emotional or yeah, emotional intelligence. Okay, some of you all also have been very focused on growing some business or starting something up again. So some of y'all could have Aries in your chart, but I am picking up on. Um, so I keep hearing tarot readers. Some of you guys could be tarot readers. Okay, some of you guys also could be getting very in tune or getting um. Some of y'all could be learning more about algorithms or analytics or statistics of some sort, okay? Somebody's also struggling with some type of like statistic course or something having to do with geometry, sacred geometry, or again, esoteric symbols and symbology could be of significance, okay? Some of y'all could be studying about symbolism, all right? I'm also hearing protection candles. So some of y'all, Leo, could either make candles. I keep hearing intentional candles, okay? Some of y'all could either make candles or maybe... <clears throat> a lot of focus around cleansing and purification y'all i've been screaming for the last couple of days and listen y'all work with me okay um i'm also hearing something having to do with accounting finance okay some of y'all also could need to go and um i'm hearing something about like a uh, financing through the bank okay some y'all are kind of waiting on some type of um some of y'all are waiting on the decision around some type of like bank loan to come about for in order for you to purchase a home. I keep hearing you're going to be approved, but I'm also hearing something that's being delayed. Some of y'all also could be working on your credit at this time. A lot of focus around improvement, okay? If you are experiencing anything health-wise or if you are helping someone around their health, someone is getting some good news as it pertains to the restoration of their health, okay? Leo, I keep hearing taking your life back, taking your time back. Some of y'all are no longer overly fucking given to situations and people who don't support you with that same fucking energy. You over it, okay? A lot of focus also around watching obsessively watching someone someone wants to change your mind about something leo i feel like someone had the approach of trying to like manipulate you to or coerce you into going with something uh, i keep hearing keep the lie alive okay so for some of y'all this could be have to do with the lie all right i heard this he, i heard his side her side and the truth okay so some of y'all is going to be getting to the bottom of something this week or something's going to be uh, made very I, i'm hearing crystal clear something's going to be made crystal clear for you to make an informed decision about how to move forward as it pertains to your connection and your fucking acquaintances with some people i am hearing this could be an old friend that you could have recently uh reconciled with someone someone wanted something to be the same after some type of betrayal just because they fucking apologize and it's like motherfucker yeah you apologize but that don't mean i want to fuck with you like that the same way i forgive you i just don't fuck with you like that you know and that's totally fucking fine leo listen forgiveness is a must but don't ever forget that shit you hear what i'm saying Forgiveness is a must, but don't you ever forget that shit. Don't ever forget how that fucking make you feel. I feel like for some of you all, your karmic, 
your karmic experiences are being tested this week. Somebody finna come and test your damn gangster. Some of y'all could be seeing 999, a whole fucking lot, Leo, 222, 999, 555, synchronicities could be of significance. I'm also hearing lizards. Some of y'all could be seeing lizards, okay? Some of you all are also seeing crows, or maybe you work with the crow or raven spirit, okay? A lot of focus on Native American ancestry, okay? I'm also hearing something having to do with the Book of Enoch. Some of y'all are researching, um, or some of y'all are also getting very familiar with the Bible or relearning the Bible. You're able to connect from a space of understanding and not fear. I'm also hearing something having to do with decoding some type of like religious text. I'm hearing the Kabbalah. Some of y'all could be ordering books off of Amazon at this time as well. I'm also hearing cleansing. Okay, so some of y'all could definitely be cleansing your home or there's a need to. Especially if you just recently put somebody the fuck out or you are you looking to move. Definitely cleanse your home before you like really like get every damn thing set up. Okay, especially if you have a gifted earth sign child. Some of y'all have a child that's a medium. I'm also hearing a water sign child or an air sign child. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, let me see. Leo, Leo, Leo. So you guys got topaz, bitch. What I told y'all, bitch. When I say I'm good, bitch, I'm good. Some y'all are, <clears throat> some y'all are finally able to accept that something's over or accept that something's just not gonna be how it used to fucking be. Okay, and some y'all also are. I'm hearing. Okay, I'm hearing the bad guy. Some of y'all are accepting the fact that somebody's going to see you as the motherfucking bad guy because this person is not looking at your... They're not looking at what you're doing. They're not... They're not receiving your actions or someone, someone's misinterpreting or misunderstanding your intentions and your actions and that's not your fucking problem, Leo. You did what the fuck you could. Listen, I've been there, done that, got the motherfucking t-shirt. Now it's time to move forward and create new motherfucking stories, new memories, and new chapters. I'm also hearing for some of you all also, um, some of y'all gonna... Leo, if you be feeling like you need to like hide your shit when somebody comes over to your house... Especially if this person is a sneaky link. I'm also hearing, aha, I'm hearing Mooney Long. Um, I don't fail for my sneaky link. <laughs> it was just supposed to be some sex in Hennessy. I can't explain what it's done to me. Okay, somebody fell for their motherfucking sneaky link. All right, and things didn't go the way as planned. So I definitely pick up on this energy where someone's having to accept that, you know. Except what it is. It, it was going to be what it is. Okay. I definitely pick up on someone. Someone thought that they could change your mind, Leo. You thought that you could change another person's mind, but someone's making it fucking crystal clear on how things are going to move going forward. And I'm, I keep hearing forgive others and forgive yourself. Okay. So pass. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. I keep hearing something about family therapy, okay, or someone mediating a family situation. Leo, you're washing your hands to people and they fucking in and, and they fucked up two faced ass ways. You washing your hands. Some of y'all, someone's coming to tell you something or confirm something for you. And it's something that you've already known, but now you're able to have like proof in order for you to like fully release someone and give yourself that damn closure. Some of y'all was waiting on someone to give you closure, and I definitely feel like you guys are trying transmuting that energy and really focusing on something that is going to help you to progress and be productive as well as grow within your business, within your spirit, within your mind, within your emotions. And some of y'all is finally fl fucking flipping that damn ill into a motherfucking lesson, baby, and moving forward to attain your fucking blessings. I'm hearing well done. So some of y'all could definitely have Aries in your chart or could be ending a cycle with an Aries or you standing up to someone, okay, who could have been trying to fucking like this is somebody, somebody, Leo, also be very cautious of like a charismatic man because I keep picking up on someone trying to return, but they're not trying to return for like the proper reason. Somebody need a fucking place to stay, okay? I'm also hearing don't fucking cheat if you're going to be homeless if you get caught, okay? If Leo, if, if, if some of you dealing with somebody and they're in a relationship, okay? Don't fucking cheat. Don't cheat with this person if they're going to have to come sleep on your motherfucking couch because for some of you all, someone is seeing... <sighs> Someone's not paying attention to the red, the purple, the white, the green, or the motherfucking orange flags, bitch. Flags all over the fucking place. And somebody's still fucking feeling as if they walking on sunshine with someone who's not giving to them.
okay? 33, 44 could be of significance. You guys got appetite, progress, not perfection. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus on how far you've come and all that you've learned. What the fuck I tell you? Flip the motherfucking L's into lessons, okay? Someone, some of you all also, there could be, uh, I keep hearing replica. I'm also hearing doppelganger, okay? So someone could be trying to like steal your motherfucking content, steal your fucking swag, steal your motherfucking bitch. They trying to steal my motherfucking my motherfucking stole off, bitch. They're trying to steal. I keep hearing on my on my mo. I keep okay. So mojo. Someone cannot compete where they where they don't compare, Leo. Those are small things that you're worried about, as it pertains to another person. Okay, because some of y'all is like, bitch, you don't see that this motherfucker stealing from me. Y'all don't see this. Like some of y'all have been very frustrated with someone copying you or trying to take credit for your hard work. Okay. You guys got fluoride, natural beauty, and authenticity. Some of you all could be makeup artists, okay? Some of y'all could also be mobile nail technicians. I'm also hearing something having to do with, um, okay, beauty, fashion. Some of y'all could definitely have Aries in your chart. Or some of y'all, you're thinking about partnering up with an Aries to do some type of like, I'm also hearing something having to do with like yoni or womb care. Some of y'all could be uh, purchasing a yoni egg or like doing something around womb care this week. A lot of self-care, a lot of nurturing the self, okay? A lot of pampering the self. Some of y'all could also be, um, I'm hearing something about, uh, regarding a retreat, a spiritual retreat. I'm also hearing yoga. Some of you all could be taking up various practices to really nurture the feminine, okay? Uh, you guys got fluoride, natural beauty and authenticity. Be yourself as God made you naturally attractive and lovable inside out. I'm also hearing something having to do with confidence, okay? Maybe the last relationship or someone who you just recently like cut out of your damn life or accepted that something is over about. Maybe this person has done a number on your confidence. I am hearing something about, I'm hearing body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. So body goals could be of significance. Lee, a lot of y'all is focusing on y'all motherfucking figure. Y'all trying to get fine and fine as wine and outside this summer on period, okay? So at the bottom of the deck, you guys got peridote okay life lessons all right a lot of focus on healing with you guys leo you can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain some y'all have to just simply accept that you and someone else's love style is not the same someone loves from a place of survival and someone loves unconditionally and i feel like someone couldn't accept the love that you were giving them or the support or the uplifting that you was giving them because they choose to only motherfucking see the negative when they can't control some shit okay Okay, so this is lastly. They told me one more for y'all, so I pulled it. Malachite, okay? Prosperity. Focus on your motherfucking money. Whatever the hell that you are building, whatever the hell that you're being led to start, create, okay? Whatever the hell you've been really focusing on um, as it pertains to, like, the long-term or legacy wealth, because I keep hearing legacy wealth. I'm also hearing something having to do with real estate school. I'm also hearing Airbnb, Verbo. Some of y'all could be trying to rent out a property. You don't want to... Maybe you're moving and you don't really want to fully get rid of your old property, so maybe you're subleasing it or renting it, renting it, make sure that you get this in writing, okay? Contractual agreements could be of significance, Leo. I'm also hearing contract deals, okay? I'm also hearing songwriter expression. So some of y'all could be um, working on something very creatively to present. I keep hearing May is going to be the date of you like launching something or, pre uh, or presenting something. Even if you plan for April, you're going to have it done the right way If you, because I feel like if you put something out right now or you you rush to do something, it's going to be half-assed and it's going to be able, like you're going to be able to see actively that it was done half-assed. So take your time and don't put too much pressure on yourself. Progress, not perfection. Prosperity, there's a positive shift in your flow of divine support, Malachite, okay? So again, and a lot of focus also around the throat chakra, okay? Throat chakra as well as the damn crown chakra. You know what the hell you know, Leo. I'm also hearing something having to do with clairvoyancy. Some of y'all could be looking into the various types of clairs or maybe you teach this to others. Some of y'all also could be going to some type of like self-love or joining or creating some type of like self-love platform, okay? Or a self-love group. I'm hearing social media. Something could also be being exploited or some of y'all is getting clarity regarding somebody had the opportunity to tell you the truth, Leo, and they lied. So some of y'all is learning, learning the truth through someone's fucking petty antics on social media. All right. I'm also hearing stop going to this person's page if you don't like them. I don't know who that's for. All right. So let's give me a few quick tarot, uh, tarot messages for my Leos. Okay, some of y'all could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. 
I feel like for some of you all, I see a door opening and closing, opening and closing. Some of y'all have blocked and some of y'all is blocking continuously. Some of y'all block and unblock somebody multiple times. Or maybe someone's doing this to you. I pick up on this energy where someone feels defeated, okay? Someone feels defeated or, you, or you're finally surrendering a situation and giving it to God. This could be involving an Aquarius or another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? I'm picking up on this energy where someone's pride put them in a bad motherfucking spot. Also, an air sign, I heard an air sign's predictions is coming to pass. If an air sign or a Scorpio told you something, something's occurring this week where you see someone's predictions coming to pass, especially as it pertains to a relationship. I feel like someone felt that someone manipulated the situation to get you all to themselves because, oh, baby, we're not dipping into that. Someone, this feels like somebody moved you away or moved you into their house to like be a dick. Or like mistreat you, okay? Some of y'all also may be having to go to the school and check a situation. Leo, some of y'all is dealing with a... Some of y'all got a child that's like not telling you or they don't understand that what's going on in school is bullying, okay? Some of y'all kids is dealing with a bullying situation or a hostile situation in school, okay? You guys got... You are the one. Authenticity, Okay? So, again, motherfuckers can't compete with a the fuck they don't compare. Focus on who you are, what you love, what you're doing, what you're trying to grow, baby, because God see you. God see you, Leo. God also see these motherfuckers trying to copy and understand that because it wasn't, because they stole it and it wasn't given to them divinely, baby, that shit will not prosper. It can only grow. Something can only grow with you, okay? A lot of you all are also connecting with the, some of y'all, okay, some of y'all, something has slowed down, Leo, because they say you were connecting with it from a space of, like, pride. Like, some of y'all was humbled through some type of project, and it's not to say that this project will not grow again. They just wanted you to connect with something that you do or you love, because maybe you could have lost passion for something that you do. Um due to like outside or external fucking energies and i feel like someone could have been projecting negative energy to get you to want to quit or get you to fully walk away from something that you're actually destined to fucking be doing okay especially if this is anything in the realm of like spirituality okay or holistic practices all right some of y'all are also getting clear about your intentions and your beliefs and you it's i, I see some y'all having to stand up to family as it pertains to your belief systems okay yeah exploration the fool, mastership. Did I fucking tell y'all either you got areas in your chart that you dealing with one? Okay. Some of y'all also could be trying to come to some type of common ground as it pertains to making a relationship flourish or making or or, 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 or um helping something to progress, okay? I keep hearing divine feminine, divine masculine. This could actually have to do with you embracing or you embodying the perfect duality, okay? Being one with both energies, wholeness coming into wholeness. Yeah, you guys got hermit, introspection, okay? Some of y'all, you're in this place of solitude to really get clear about your intentions on how you want to move. I keep getting this energy where you're praying for things, but Spirit wants you to get crystal clear about your intentions because I keep picking up on this energy where some of y'all could have mutable energy within your moon sign. You could be a Leo with a Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, Pisces, moon. I get one foot in and one foot out type of energy, okay? But again, something being made crystal clear for you. Some of y'all also... Didn't I fucking tell y'all? Listen, fire signs as a whole. Somebody finna find out just how fucking protected that you fucking are, okay? I definitely pick up on this energy of someone possibly needing to, like, mediate a situation or mediate. Um, This could be someone mediating a situation between you and another person. This could be a fire sign or possibly a Libra, okay? Maybe you have Libra in your damn chart. Some of y'all could also have a Libra that's a motherfucking hater. Some of y'all, this is being made crystal fucking clear to you, but no problem. Karmic justice, listen, justice is going to work in your motherfucking favor. If you've been the fucking problematic one, then justice is going to, you take it how I go. Okay, Leo? Okay, but again, this week is bringing in clarity, okay? So for some of y'all, this is just clarity about a pathway. Some of y'all is getting the clarity that someone can't fucking go with you, Leo, on this next motherfucking chapter. You wondering, you wondering why things are not progressing the way that you want them to is because you keep trying to fucking take dead weight with you, whether it's a, a, a whether it's an outdated fucking belief system, or you moving from a space of fear or pride, or you moving from a place of love and surrendering, love and humility. What you doing, okay? accountability this week is going to render accountability on either your behalf or another person okay so give me um give me a 
Let me close in advice. Baby, discipline. You hear me? For Leo, discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Some of y'all could be unplugging from social media, unplugging from some type of like connections or contact with other people and really focusing on your shit. For some of y'all, this have to do with you getting disciplined when it, as it pertains to how you eat, how you process things, okay? How do you procrastinate? Are you, have you been procrastinating the start of some type of business? Have you been procrastinating some type of workout regimen, some type of workout plan, okay? Again, transformation. Respect your regeneration process, Leo. You guys are definitely in this regeneration process. Some of y'all could be seeing 11, 11 a whole lot as well, as well as 10, 10 or 10, 01. You guys got death. I'm learning that endings are merely beginning or some of y'all could literally be having to fucking hold your shit together. Uh, I keep hearing, okay, so somebody could be trying to start some shit at a funeral or at a damn funeral gathering. Hold it together, Leo, because somebody is trying to get a reaction out of you to know fully what you know. Somebody needs to know what you know. They're worried that you know they live fucking dirty ass secrets, and you do. They're worried about what the fuck you know. I'm also hearing spiritually protect yourself. Somebody could be trying to attack you to keep you quiet. Again, throat chakra. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome, okay? Someone's also mad at you for telling the fucking truth, Leo. Fuck them. Tell them play with their mammy and their kids and find them something safe to do. Okay? Let's get into it. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Hey, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Oh, honey, Sag. Did you miss me? Hmm. Hmm. Sagittarius, some of y'all need to change your number. You could have recently changed your number, okay? Some of y'all also could be not telling people where you live. Keep it that motherfucker way until about, they say keep it that way until about the fall, okay? Especially if you just recently started dating somebody and you haven't, you've been feeling guilty about not bringing this person back to your fucking place. Yeah, your ancestors are protecting you because for some of y'all, some of y'all dealing with somebody who got some fucking sticky fingers, Okay? Somebody got some sticky fingers, Sash. They got sticky fucking fingers, all right? Some of y'all also could also... Some of y'all could have Leo in your chart. Some of y'all is giving a situation to God. You've done all that you can to try and make... After you've done all you can, you just stand... Stand the fuck... I'm also hearing gospel music. Some of y'all could be... Um, Listening to a lot of gospel music or uplifting music, okay? Some of you guys could make music. Some of you all have multiple gifts and you're really wanting to invest in all of them instead of just really uh, being within one feel, okay? Also, some of y'all gonna have to shut a bitch down as it pertains to the workplace because somebody thought that yeah, somebody thought some shit was sweet, Sag. <laughs> somebody thought some shit was sweet. I keep hearing, I'm tired of being the bigger person. I'm tired of being the bigger person. Okay, so... Sagittarius, for some of you all, this could have been like someone who's always like who always got your motherfucking name in their motherfucking mouth. Even when you're not around, this person always talking shit. You are the highlight of every motherfucking day of their life because misery needs fucking company. Misery is looking for a goddamn acquaintance, Sagittarius, and you shutting shit down in this season, okay? You're not for people's bullshit. I'm getting a lot of focus around uh, business opportunities, okay? Again, I keep hearing real estate, so some of you guys could be in the market of looking for a home. I'm also hearing moving states. Some of y'all is not telling the family that you're moving out of state. Their ass is going to find out when they call you and you tell them, oh, I don't live there no more. I live in Florida. Oh, 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 I live in, bitch, I live in motherfucking uh, Canada these days. Bitch, I, I live in motherfucking Phoenix. I live in motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? I live in motherfucking, um, I keep hearing Virginia, Carolina could be of significance, okay? I'm also hearing um, Indiana, Mississippi. Some of y'all could be moving, Texas. Some of y'all could be moving out of or to these states, okay? That move is blessed. Okay, you guys got ceremonies, emerald, ceremony, celebration. I keep hearing graduation, certifications, licensing. Some of y'all could be getting your license, especially if you work in the realm of uh, beauty, fashion, okay? Also, if you are some type of vlogger, I'm also hearing something having to do with life coach, okay, or a spiritualist. Some of y'all could also be branding some type of business name so that someone can't take it again. Protecting your intellectual property. Some of y'all got a bitch that claim that they don't fucking like you. Fucking watching in the goddamn bag. Yes, don't yes. I get I get sensitive about my fire signs because I'm sick of people fucking with us. For since 2020, motherfuckers been really fucking playing with us. And at this point, we've we've taken a different approach as it pertains to how we respond, how we react, or if we just even give a damn. And these people, they don't they don't know how to just leave 
leave well enough to fuck alone. So, Sag, I see you having to get a bitch together. Some of y'all just have to do with a supervisor or a managerial, uh, a manager or someone like that who is intimidated by how much you know. Someone, you make someone feel small because you know their fucking job better than they fucking do, okay? This person wants to throw you under the bus or make you look bad or call you out during some type of meeting and get them, Sag. Get them. Get them, Sag. Get them. <coughs> Ceremonies and celebration. It's a time, yeah, I got my, my death story coughing and shit. Like, some of y'all been really holding your tongue on something. And it's, it, it, Spirit is using you as a damn as a damn whistleblower to get them sad, okay? You are the catalyst. You are a teacher and a test. Bitch, I'm going to tell you the right thing to motherfucking do. And if you fucking try me and test me, bitch, I'm going to also be the one to fucking get on your ass, all right? Without even having to do you nothing. My ancestors, I keep hearing ancestral goon, Sag. Emerald, ceremonies and celebrations. It's a time of important life passages such as weddings birthdays graduations or anniversaries again a lot of womb energy sagittarius some of y'all could be finding out that you're pregnant okay or if your ass is not trying to get pregnant you better wrap it the fuck up because there's a lot of mothering nurturing energy okay some of y'all could also be working with oshun i keep hearing water cleanses mastership mastering working with the elements okay i'm also hearing earth magic divination could be of significant sag I'm hearing documentaries. Some of y'all could be tapping into various documentaries. I keep hearing something having to do with um, property, land, ancestral land, okay? Larry Hoover could be of significance. I keep hearing Larry Hoover, okay? Maybe you're teaching about this. You guys got Peridot, life lessons, okay? So some of y'all could be dealing with a damn Leo. Maybe something's ending or something's renewing or being renewed, okay? With the Leo, maybe someone... Maybe some of y'all, uh, uh, this is, you're celebrating the anniversary of something. I keep hearing altar, okay? Or paying your respect. Maybe you're visiting someone's grave. Paradote, life lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. Some of y'all is beating yourself up over, like, decisions that was made, okay? Someone could also be dealing with an Aries. Maybe someone wants to, like, make something right or, like, pack fear with someone. I feel like someone's been suppressing some type of truth or some type of confession for quite some time. Somebody wanted to make another person feel how they feel, but now things are happening to them karmically, and I feel like it's involving their finances and, like, they're starting to get it now, Sag. I'm also picking up on this energy where someone's someone's intimidated by your confidence. Someone wants you. Someone needs to be needed. They get off on needing to be needed. Some of y'all could be dealing with another mutable sign, Gemini, Virgo, uh, Pisces, okay, or another Sagittarius. Some of y'all could also be dealing with a... Um, with a damn cardinal sign, Aries, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn, okay? I feel like someone also could be picking you for information or be very careful what the hell you're telling people, even if you're trying to help them. I feel like someone is trying to be vulnerable with you for you to open up about some. Somebody's trying to be vulnerable, but it's like, it's mass. Trust your discernment. If you feel like somebody's calling you and they saying one thing, but their intentions is a whole motherfucking other, please trust what the hell you feel, Sad. You on your shit, okay? You guys got dolomite. Stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent upon you keeping a positive mindset, okay? So instead of expecting for things to go wrong or expecting the worst out of a situation, especially if this is anything having to do with the heart chakra, okay? Some of y'all could also be working with rose quartz at this time or there's a need to also maybe roses could be of significance i keep hearing spiritual baths maybe you guys uh create spiritual baths or you creating candles or you creating sometimes i keep hearing jewelry as well so some of y'all could also create um um protection jewelry okay you guys got diamond aries energy value your self-worth you are god's precious gem okay so some of y'all could be dealing with an aries or some of y'all could have a crush on the Aries or Aries have a crush, or crush on you. I feel like if you're dealing with an Aries or another fire sign, this person has pure intentions. I feel like there's just a lot of power struggles with y'all because everybody want to run some shit, okay? You guys lastly got Tiger's Eye, self-confidence through God confidence. Some of y'all are channels for spirit, okay? Some of y'all could be questioning if your intuitive messages are resonant with people. They are. It's, some of y'all Sagittarius people have, it's not that they don't like you. It's the fact that you trigger their motherfucking demons within them. And instead of asking themselves, why the fuck am I triggered? Why am I bothered? What's wrong with me? It's easier for a motherfucker to be a hater, okay? So yes, that's not your problem. Don't worry about it. Fuck them, Sag, but just protect yourself. Some of y'all also could be wearing a lot of like evil eye, uh, evil eye bracelets, okay? Maybe you make these. I keep hearing something's being done intentional, okay? Intentional. Some of y'all could also be practicing um, or really trying to master the law of attraction as well. 
okay? So let's see. I'm also hearing tampering, okay? So if you thought that somebody was tampering with your vehicle, yes, okay? Yes, Sag. Someone is attempting to tamper with your vehicle. I am hearing something about the tires. Also, if your gas tank does not motherfucking lock, Sag, go get you, go to AutoZone or Riley or wherever the hell the car place it is where you at, okay? And get one of those little fucking key locks, like the locks that go on your damn gas pump. Well, damn, my key is up in here. Let me see. Like this. Because, bitch, I got one on my truck. Listen. Get you a damn a, a, a key for your damn gas tank, okay? Because definitely, it, 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 this feels like a masculine energy doing this or a female that's tied to a masculine energy who fully haven't let go of you. You just blocked this fucking person and you're not dealing with they shit. This person could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? Some of y'all also... Some of y'all is tired of being emotionally responsible or a, some of y'all is dealing with someone who who I feel like there's a lot of emotional um, dependency that goes on within this fucking dynamic and you're actually acknowledging the fact that it's draining and you fucking switched up the way that you doing shit and it's really leaving another person puzzled at this time, okay? Some of y'all also, yeah, didn't I tell y'all some of y'all asses could be fucking pregnant? Some of y'all could be birthing a fucking baby, Sag. For some of y'all, you could be, uh, some of y'all have a life path around children as well, okay? I keep hearing something having to do with, um, I heard doula, okay? Doula. Some of y'all could, um, a lot of focus around fertility, womb energy. Some of y'all could have Leo in your chart. Or some of y'all could actually be finding out that a Leo is actually carrying your little baby, honey, okay? Are you carrying a little Leo baby? Congratulations. Mocha love them kids, honey, okay? But I definitely pick up on this energy where you're starting something brand new. This could even be like some type of work opportunity, okay? If you were wanting to apply or leave one job to apply for another one, it's a great time to do it this week. The energy is blessed. It looks very positive, okay? Yeah. The habit. Didn't I fucking tell y'all y'all dealing with a codependent motherfucker? Some of y'all could be dealing with uh, possibly a water. I keep hearing Virgo so strongly. Virgo, Scorpio. Uh, I keep hearing Libra, Gemini. Okay, some of y'all have become accustomed to like using. Okay, so this is all right. Some of y'all, your ass is the one that needs to be fucking needed because someone doesn't need you. You don't feel. Um, you don't feel valued or you don't feel as if this person is really like interested in in the relationship but for some of y'all they are this person just wants to be do things more independently or they want you to stand on your own Sag. someone's tired of being dependent on or needing someone or uh, feeling as if they have to be emotionally responsible for another person someone's tired of having to be the one that's always uplifting supporting building in a fucking relationship bitch this is not a relationship it's a one-way street what are we doing bitch okay yeah, two of ones, decisions, okay? So I definitely pick up on this energy where some of y'all have to make a damn decision on how you want to go about things moving forward or how you want to go about executing things moving forward. For some of y'all, this could literally have to do with a literal move as well, okay? Some of y'all could have also been, uh, some of y'all could have recently put down like smoking cigarettes. Some of y'all could have a sad rising, who that's for. Somebody could have recently put down alcohol or put down uh, doing something, okay? Doing something. I'm, I, I keep hearing substances, okay? Some of y'all are realizing that you don't have nothing in common with a motherfucker. If we didn't smoke this weed, bitch, I really wouldn't like you at all. Some of y'all is really like closing chapters on people and they don't really know how to fucking be accepting of this because people are used to you just kind of being easy fucking going, Sash. They don't know how to deal with this. Baby, listen. It's causing motherfuckers delusion. Some of y'all is dealing with a Scorpio. And this person, I pick up on this energy where you could want to, and you could have children with this individual. You could want to make things work or you could want to like solidify things. But this individual want to go out here and fucking see what the fuck is in the streets first before they fully fucking commit to you. So I feel like for some of y'all, you letting this person be great. Go out here in these streets, but understand that when you go out there in them streets, the way that we deal with each other, it won't be the fucking same. Okay. I'm also picking up on something having to do with sexuality. Maybe someone's exploiting someone publicly or humiliating someone um, due to their sexuality. I pick up on petty antics where someone's trying to be like either blackmail or emotionally blackmail another person to stay in some type of dynamic because this person they got a pot the piss in or a window to fucking throw it out of because they watching your blessing Sagittarius okay yeah agreed four of pentacles okay so some of y'all could be dealing with a Virgo some of y'all could also be dealing with a Taurus individual someone wants to motherfucking keep you stuck have that access to you they love the idea of being with you but as far as investing in you and actually building with you this person don't know how to do it somebody ain't never had no example of a healthy relationship Give me one more. 
page of cups inventiveness what the fuck i tell you okay someone does love you but i feel like as it pertains to giving to something some of y'all also could be experiencing new love okay i'm also hearing something about someone's love life causing conflict amongst family okay yeah queen of cups possibly a a, a fucking water sign cancer pisces scorpio feminine okay strong cancer energy here as well or maybe some of y'all are opening up or starting something new with a cancer okay but at the same time there's this there's this there's this subconscious fear around being rejected or not having enough or not being enough or this person uh, are getting played by someone okay also something's being motherfucking illuminated by the next full moon some of y'all something could have been illuminated in your motherfucking dream space okay some of y'all could have also recently dyed your damn hair blue as well okay some of y'all could have recently dyed your hair blue some of y'all also could be changing your wardrobe or you're updating or upgrading your damn wardrobe, okay? The paranormal curiosity. So some of y'all could be getting very heavily into like researching various divination tools, researching various esoteric um, esoteric sources or some type of like metaphysical practices as well. A lot of focus. I keep hearing telekinesis, telekinesis telepathy. I'm also hearing something having to do with um, dharma, dharma, karma. Some of y'all are also researching the multiverse as well. Frequency. Yeah, you're getting clarity. Some of y'all could be dealing with a damn Leo. They got the same fucking card. Some of y'all, something's coming to the surface or something's being exposed. And someone, this is going to help someone to close the cycle and move forward. Um, move forward. I keep hearing like releasing burden. Some, some type of clarity is coming through to release some type of burden off of you this week, sad. Some of y'all could just be simply this. I've been investing in the motherfucker who don't even fucking like me like that. I've been sleeping with the goddamn enemy, the fucking hater that's been coming up in all of these damn readings that I've been watching and shit like that. It's a motherfucker who land next to me every goddamn day. Some of y'all is getting ready to, it's going to, someone, someone's deliberate interference is going to be made very crystal clear for you, okay? Because someone has been deliberately trying to interfere with your growth and you taking back your damn independence, baby. And spirit is blessing you with peace. This week is bringing in peace. Should you so choose to move with that fucking frequency and not entertain the BS? Let these fucking people be mad. Let these motherfucking people sit over there and fucking drive themselves crazy on what the fuck Sag is doing, what Sag ain't fucking doing. Because I am picking up on this energy where you guys... You guys gave someone a crystal motherfucker. You gave them the fucking key map on how to fucking treat you, and they still didn't get it the fuck right. So you're releasing something. You're giving something to God for your peace this week, Sag, okay? I am a being of love, and I release all negative energy, okay? Uh, so I definitely pick up on this energy where, yeah, Sag focusing on their motherfucking success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Listen, I'm going to be receptive to the vibration of love. I'm just freeing myself from your ass, okay? Someone also, some of y'all is going, some of y'all are realizing that someone was a fucking financial, uh, was a financial burden or someone was very karmic to your finances that you was dealing with, okay? This could definitely be someone who was a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or an earth sign, all right? Abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical motherfucking uh, reality. Didn't I tell y'all the law of attraction, the art of manifestation, the art of war, even knowing when someone's raging war on you. I'm also picking up on something having to do with telepathy and like really understanding. Um, I keep hearing soul contracts, soul ties, or some type of past life regressive experience, uh, past life regression uh, type of experience that you're going through within the subconscious. So some of y'all could be dreaming of your past lives, okay? Yeah, honesty. And it's causing you to be honest with your damn self and see a situation for what it is. Some of y'all are done falling in love with the potential of people. You're believing when, when they show you who the fuck they are, you're believing them in this at this time, Sag. Honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. You see in a situation for what it is. You ain't up the damn pros and the cons. Does this add to my life or does this take away from my motherfucking life? And you're making a damn informed decision with that information that you fucking finding out. Some of you guys also, you're not doing something that you're taking your time to do something that you know that you need to do out of a fear of failure. And spirit is saying, baby, you will not fall. Build that damn church. I will send the people. It is not your, even if the damn church is a damn platform, a vlog, a fucking, um, I keep hearing clubhouse. Okay. So this could be a form of some sorts. Okay. But some of you all are spiritual teachers and spirit is really calling you to really walk in your purpose at this time. You're really, I'm also hearing astrology. Okay. Or understanding like these astrological fucking shift that's occurring and how it affects you. So some of y'all could be getting very in tune with your birth chart. All right. Or a birth chart reading could be very, um, 
very significant or it could also be a very of great help to you sag at this time okay so you guys i love you long time and until next time happy birthday aries with our fine asses honey okay and i will i'm going to move on to the air signs love y'all bye